Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otzesi, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Last time we built this uh, moss farm, and of course, we used a stone generator and not a cobblestone generator. And today we will build a cobble farm. And we will employ some of the uh, same elements uh, as in this form. But I think we will have a slightly uh, a different approach uh, where uh, I will build up the form step by step. So um, let me quickly uh, grab a lava bucket. Because with water and lava, you can either generate uh, stone like we do here and for this farm we need of course stone because uh, uh, cobble cannot be converted to moss and if we have a setup like this where the lava flows uh, into flowing water we get cobblestone but if we have uh, something like this where uh, basically uh, water flows into lava, it's the same thing. But if we basically have water below and then lava flowing down, we get stone. And this is what's happening over here. And uh, in a few minutes you will see how we will do this so let me prepare things a bit so we can get to the uh, interesting parts this here is the ward collection chamber without water for now uh, everything uh, will be washed down this channel and then out here and uh, somewhere down there to collect and this uh, farm actually uh, is very similar or parts are similar to the ones below where we will create stone and then blow up the stone and that will generate cobble which will be uh, collected by this thing so I think we will start with the uh, on off switch, which is the same as down below, just with uh, a different timing. So let me through this together. The on off switch is complete. Lever goes uh, down there on this block or maybe on, on this side, which will push this piston out and then we basically have uh, this timer here which adds a bit more delay than the one below and at the same time uh, powering this piston which will transmit the uh, uh, signal up there for the TNT uh, dropper system. And the reason why this delay is a bit uh, longer is because uh, the TNT duplicator uh, has just uh, a certain amount of time, or the TNT has a certain amount of time it needs from being ignited uh, until it ex explodes. And uh, this timing is very precise if you have too much tnt uh, it will go horribly wrong if you have the timings uh, too slow you're basically wasting time so the timing for the uh, uh, stone generation and the uh, pushing in of uh, the stone needs to be um, adjusted uh, according to uh, the speed with which we can blast it and it is needs a bit of uh, of fiddling around but uh, this should do the trick for 
the stone generator which we will build up uh, just now we have uh, this line that goes to uh, these both sides um, and then we will do it layer by layer all right first layer is in place on both sides and here is how it works from out here we will get regular uh, signal out to here powering this node block and uh, as uh, the node block has no air block above it will not play a note but the update will be detected by the observer which is important for later on and then the signal goes on to this side basically depowering all these torches um, uh, which will when they come back on uh, power the node block and uh, when that happens this piston fires here through uh, the uh, observer here and then here we have a row of obsidian uh, I think at this point it's obsolete. I added those at one point uh, for blast protection, but uh, with the uh, collection chamber here, we should be good. And on uh, this side, we will also have a bit of blast protection. And then on here, we will have sticky pistons against the uh, torches and once they are uh, depowered they will retract and the uh, pistons below will do the opposite they will push up and uh, at one point we will then have stone here that will be uh, pushed up and so let's do the same thing on this side as well and then we can go on with the next layer the next layer is quite easy we already had the uh, sticky pistons in here and i just placed uh, this row of stone blocks these are actually the stone that will be generated uh, but for building up it's just easier and then in front here we have this uh, stairs which we will uh, waterlog and thereby uh, they become quite um, blast resistant uh, which is a good thing um, need a bit more water there and there we go and the way this works the sticky piston will pull out the newly generated stone then the pistons below can push it up and the last thing we need here is the uh, contraption to push the stone over and then we will have uh, lava i think on top of here so when the stone is pulled out water flows in and the lava flows down creating a new row of stone and uh, we can proceed um, with the next stone so let's put in the next layer in place i placed another row of obsidian on top of the uh, stairs containing the water in order for blast protection because as you can see here on the back side i also placed uh, uh, some stones uh, which will represent the stones that are pushed up from the uh, pistons down below so these stones will be retracted and then pushed up and in this trench 
we will have eventually the lava. And back here we have the system uh, to uh, push the stones up. So these pistons will push everything towards the middle. And this is triggered by the same redstone line that goes up through the node block observer, powering this block here, then through the repeater in this line. The only thing is um, the uh, node blocks here are actually not yet powered by this uh, line. And for that, we need these target blocks. And what they do is um, they uh, will retract or reroute the redstone signal in them, thereby powering them, powering the node block below and uh, extending the piston. So this needs to be done on the uh, other side as well. And then we only have to place the lava in. And then we are done with the uh, stone generation part of things. Um, we will place also obsidian on top of here for blast protection. We don't want uh, our uh, precious redstone to be uh, blown up um, and suddenly half the farm no longer working. TNT duper is now almost uh, complete. So you can see down there the signal goes up there then up above we have a similar setup like down below, a bit different timing, and then we get the signal here into the TNT duper. There are a few designs, but um, I quite like this one, and there is a slime block missing. The TNT will then rest um, on here. And uh, every time it gets uh, pushed forward, or is it backward? I don't know. Uh, it will be activated by the activator rail and uh, the, some weird stuff with uh, this curl and update order. It will be ignited while duplicating. And the tricky part is with these machines is uh, building them up. Um, and then you have to place the, the TNT in the right spot. So if I would place it here, it would all, uh, already be um, ignited and explode the whole thing. And then what we have here on this side with uh, the uh, cobble fence, fence gate, glass and glazed terracotta that's basically to align the dropping tnt so it lands down on that obsidian uh, where the stone will be pushed in from both sides and we don't want the uh, tnt uh, to uh, uh, fall anywhere else because uh, that will make a mess. So hopefully I did everything right. And this works. Yeah. That was all expected. Right? Okay. I'm done in a hole. Okay, TNT duper is primed, so let's give this uh, bad boy a test. We need another lever. Um, let's place it here on the back. 
Okay. TNT falls down, explodes. And as you can see, the TNT explodes and the next one is already on its way down. So the timing is really close on the uh, TNT side. And if we would have actually a uh, uh, lava in there, um, we would also generate some stone. So let's quickly do just that. Yeah. All right, lava is placed in and everything should be fine. So let's keep fingers crossed that uh, actually it works this time. Yes, uh, stone generation works. The TNTing works and the blasting works. So the only thing that's missing is the water down there. And uh, as you can gather from the snow, the water would freeze if it has open uh, sky access. So I think I will put up a temporary roof above the uh, TNT duper. So that just does not happen. And then we are, will have all the cobble we will ever need, hopefully. I put the water stream for the collection system in place and uh, everything is washed down to the middle. As we can see here and then down here right be beside the uh, other water stream the cobble goes down and uh, into the main storage where it's collected in uh, shulker boxes so we should be well supplied with cobble uh, but well maybe cobble is not everything that we need and uh, I have an idea for some uh, improvements there, but this will be all for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will leave you with this blasting. Until next time, goodbye!